I'm Cliff Kelly on the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. Our guest, we cannot do better. We are so pleased to have the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan with us. And, of course, we're streaming live at www.wvon.com, and you can see us on the webcast. So uh, get, if you want, it's not only video, it's uh, audio, rather, it's video today. So uh, you can see him, and uh, he is as handsome as ever. So (laughs) we're so pleased to have him, as always. You made some great comments there in uh, your statement. The economy, uh, you mentioned uh, the high unemployment that we're we're having, but you also said something off the air just now that I think is so important, particularly with the G20 just ending their meetings today, Brother Minister, but you're saying the stimulus package, and even President Obama said that's not the, 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 the final answer. So you're saying that a lot of people, I, I think you meant, that are depending on that are going to be disappointed? In my mind, I know that no stimulus package can save America from what America is now facing. In my Savior's Day message, yeah. I said that Barack Obama has inherited the fall of America as a great nation and power. And when you look at the fall of the greatest nation in the last 6,000 years, the destruction of her institutions, her educational institutions falling apart, politics in a shamble, economics in a shamble, and this brother comes to be president at a time like this, when the wisdom of those who surround him is suspect because many of them are a part of the old that has produced much of the fall and now they are expected to bring America up out of this. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that it is foreign wars and divine plagues that is bringing America to ruin and destroying uh, her money or her economy. When we just take a look at the weather and what is going on in this country that has not let up because Barack Obama is our president, the weather pattern is getting worse and worse. Floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, wind, fire, Who's paying for this when a disaster area is declared? So every time a disaster or calamity strikes, FEMA, uh, which is the Federal Emergency Management, uh, uh, I guess, Association or Administration, administration, they get money Mm -hmm. from their government to satisfy a disaster requirement. Now they're broke. They have to get more and more money because the disasters are ruining the economy domestically and war is ruining the economy foreign-wise. So now Brother Barack has inherited Afghanistan and Iraq is not finished. And so to me, for us to think that a stimulus package can solve our problem, I'll just throw something out at you that I want you to think about because here are three things that have produced economically the perfect storm. One, deficit spending exploding the national debt. Two, decreasing foreign purchases of United States debt. Three, the Federal Reserve monetization of the deficit and debt, which means printing money where nothing is to back it up to make up for spending and borrowing shortfalls. And lastly, the downward pressure on the sovereign credit rating of the United States as a result of these three factors. This produces economically the perfect storm. And in a perfect storm, ships can't function well. And this ship of state 
is not going to be able to function well with these economic uh, indications of America's fall. So now you have uh, a budget of $3.6 trillion with a budget, uh, I mean a tax cut for 90% of those who make less than $250,000 a year. If at the end of the year the taxes are less than what the government spending is, mm -hmm. then uh, President Obama says there's a $1.2 trillion deficit which will increase every year with less taxes, more money being printed, then the deficits get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's why somebody said this, um, this, uh, uh, what do you, uh, this $3.6 trillion budget mm -hmm. and the stimulus package is the road to hell. But where else can brother go? We're already in hell. They can't uh, claim that President Obama is ruining the future of America's children. America's children's future was ruined long before a brother Barack got into office. And now the debt, if you, if you look at $11 trillion that America is in debt, and you add to that the promise of Medicare and Social Security, you're up to $65 trillion and rising. It's going to take God's help to get America out of this, and I don't think that's going to happen. Minister Louis Farrakhan, live here in the studios at the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. We're streaming live at www.wvon.com. You can see it. Also, we have the webcam working. We'll be back, and he will be taking calls. So those of you on the line, please hold. 591-1690. I'm Cliff Kelly. This is the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. News, traffic, and weather with Takoya Kennedy.